Hello everyone, this is Kicker Fools, and welcome to another Magic Smoothie Edit Pro 15 Plus tutorial with yours truly, Kicker Fools. Um, I'm going to put a new spin on my tutorials. I'm going to put a video of me over here on the side where you can actually watch me and listen to me while I'm editing our tutorial in progress, okay? It's a different kind of spin than what I normally do, so. Um, this tutorial, on this tutorial, we're going to be on cover and concealment. And I did a tutorial about this on the 14 version. And recently I got a personal message from Where I Got Ghost. I'll put this link right up over here. You'll have to check him out. He asked me if I could do a tutorial on cover and concealment with the 15 plus. So that's what we're gonna do, okay? Let's go ahead and first and pick our movie. Click on the video wherever you have your video stored at. The video that I'm gonna pick is a good friend of mine, Richard Jordmate. Here's his video. Double click on that. And then you get this notice that it says that the active movie, the movie settings have a different setting than the movie that you picked. And it will ask you if you want to adjust it. I do not want to adjust, so I'm going to go ahead and click do not adjust. Okay, there's my movie and there's Richard right here. Let's go ahead and check out that movie real quick, what we want to work with. Hello, this is George Knight in Melbourne, Australia. Have I got a competition for you? Okay, so that's about all I want to work with on this project. Okay, you see this razor blade right up over here on the tools? If you click on that, what you've done is spliced or you edit that movie. As you can see here, there's the section that we don't need. Okay, see this X? If you click on it, it disappears. So this is our finished project right here. Okay, we're going to have two different projects or two videos we need to work with on here. So we need to make a duplicate of the movie that you chose. So using your control keys, you need to hit control and D. That makes a duplicate of the same movie. And that's what we're gonna be working with. And go ahead and move it down here to the bottom. Move it down a couple frames because you'll need some room to work with it. And now you're going to need a special effects mat. So what is a special effects mat? Well, it's a project that you made that you can drag down on your timeline in your video that gives you the desired special effect that you created. On this project, on this, um, let me bring this up. On this one that I made is gonna be very difficult and very complex for some of us to do. All you need to do, I'll click on it here. It's just a, see on the monitor? It's just a big circle and a white dot. That's all you need. And I did this in paint. It's real easy to do. Um, so let's go ahead and go back and uh, let's go ahead and drag it down. If you left click, left click on it and drag it down to your timeline, we'll work with that later. Well, there's our special effect mat. But what we want to do on this project is we want to cover up Richard's face. We want to cover and seal, conceal his identity. And we're going to use that with the special effects mat. Okay, let's go up to the special effects mat and click on it and go over here to effects. Okay, I want you to go ahead and go down here till you reach movement and effects. That's where we want to work off. There we go, size and position and section and zoom. We don't need all this extra space. We're gonna get rid of it. So go up here to get rid of fill screen. You don't need that. See this arrow that clicks down? Go ahead and click on it. And go up here to free proportions. That's gonna give you the range so you can edit and splice out and cut what you don't want. So click on here, drag it down. Over here, we don't need all this stuff over here. I'm gonna go through this kind of quick, okay? I think everybody gets the point here, right? There's our special effects map. We can preview it. That's what we want. Okay, so what we're back to our picture here. What we wanna do is we want to go ahead and distort right up here around Richard's face right up here, or George Mate's face right up here. So we'll go to video effects, Click on it, and what we're going to hit is distortion. Oh, let's pick, not that one. I don't want to do that. Let's do this one below here. That's the one I want to work with, the second video. Hit distortion right here. And see this where it says all your different distortions that you have? What we're going to pick is mosaic. Now, if you left click on it and you drag it to the right, look what happens. You pixel that out, and that's what you want. That's what you want right there. Let's see. You can go out as far as you want. That's good enough. Okay, now let's drag our special effects mat you just made right here. Is 
There you go, special effects mat. And let's go ahead and drag this down right where we want it, right about right there. And let's drag this out the full length. See it grab here on the right? Let's grab this out the full length, that video. And let's bring our video that we did the mosaic. Let's bring it up. There we are. Okay. Now, here's where the magic comes in. Hence the word magics. Click on your special effects mat. And I want you to go up here to where it says video effects. I want you to go to chroma key. Okay. What you're going to do now is you're going to pick the alpha key. Pick the alpha key. Click on it. And I'm going, which is going to lead me to our next topic here, okay? I got an email from somebody that said, you know, why does that Magic's Movie Edit Pro offer a zoom in and zoom out function like Windows Movie Maker? Well, they do. They offer a lot more functions than that. And if you look for it, here it is right over here on the bottom right. Here's the section in Zoom where you can get in. Here's the plus key and the minus key for the zoom. Hit the plus key and zoom in a little bit. See? There it is. Okay. Now, if you look here on your special effects mat, you see that arrow? If you click it down, the effects now go to there. You see that? Okay, let's go right up on here. And on, on our special effects mat, let's zoom it around here. And we'll go right here. And let's go back to section movement. Okay, movement effects. And let's go to size and position. There we go. Let me get this up here. There we go. There are our special effects mat. Now all we need to do is move our effects key where we want to get it. You see, I'm almost covered this whole face. So now we can zoom out from the corners here. The corner make it a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. There we go. That covers his face, okay? Now, here's another key, which is really cool. Okay. So you got two different soundtracks. You really don't need these. So let's go to the first video that we have right here. And if you go over here to the group and ungroup, this is a chain. So if you hit the chain, unbreak the chain or ungroup it, what you've done is put your movie and your audio in two different sections. Click on the audio on that track, hit the X, and you're gone. And you're dealing with one particular audio track. Okay, let's go up here to effects now. Back up here to effects and click on this right here. Let's go down to audio effects uh, let's click on here and design elements oh up our presets there we go okay so now we're going to give richard a different voice let's go ahead and pick here's helium and i'm going to left click on that i'm going to bring it down right here on the audio track and let's go ahead and that's all you have to do okay you got your project here now what we'll want to do is we want to go up here to the file section and we want to go up here to export the movie. And we're going up here. I always pick Windows Media Export. You can choose what you want to, any format you want. I choose this one, Windows Media Export. And there's the size of my movie, the frame rate. I got 16.9 ratio. And I'm going to put it in my videos under this date. And all I have to do is click it, click OK. And my movie will burn, it says. I got some different settings that are different from my movie settings. I know that already because I chose not to adjust. Hit continue and your movie is burning. And that's basically all you got to do. Now let's go ahead and check out our finished product, shall we? Okay. Hello, this is Short Mike. In Melbourne, Australia, I've got a competition for you. Well, this is Kicker Fools. Until next time. Oh my gosh, I need to take a nap. I'm tired. Hey, until next time, this is Kicker Fools, and we'll see you on the tube. Peace out.